federal requirement and state requirement that if you have a contract that uses public funds and the contract is above 100,000, it may be 150. And just 10 years ago or less, it was 25K, and it may be 150K because the Congress is, is raising the limit. But there's a requirement that you have to have a bond. And getting a bond is like getting a line of credit. And most people want to try to uh, tell you that it's a quick and easy process. That's a lie, as far as I'm concerned. What they should tell you is that it should be like any other process that you do, like getting a line of credit. Uh, you have to start out, and you have to have some knowledge of it. And they should have more knowledge than you. And you have to work at it. It's not something that's just going to happen just because you're a nice person. You have to, number one, you have to pay your bills on time. Uh, you have to have pretty good credit and some assets in the bank. Now, the SBA does a wonderful job of helping a lot of people. But most people, I would say, they probably won't get help for two reasons. One is uh, you need a fairly good agent, a broker, to help you with it. It's hard to get a good agent, a broker, if you're not developing, let's just say, ten, twenty thousand dollars in premium. What you should be doing now is that you should be aligning yourself with an insurance agent, a broker, because right now um, the insurance companies, the regular markets, they realize with the last financial uh, problems that probably fifty percent, eighty percent of their clients could not be bonded by their standards of three, four years ago. And so they lowered their standards. So they're taking a lot of people now that wouldn't be eligible three, four years ago. So what you should do, in my opinion, is that you should go and apply for a bond. Now, they'll tell you, we won't bond you because your credit score is too low or whatever. Well, improve your credit score. One of the best ways you can do that is to pay your bills on time. That's the honest truth. Now, people can tell you a lot of other things, but if you've got a low credit score, you're not going to get a bond in the, in the normal market. If you uh, are serious about being a contractor, and if you're serious about bonding, what you need to think about is, one, are you properly insured? I, what I see in, out there is that probably half the people, if you're talking about construction, they probably are not properly insured, OK? And that's a very important part of it. In fact, one of the handouts I have is that that's one of the reasons that contractors uh, go broke, is that they, they have improper insurance, not enough insurance. And the reason that a bonding came into being is because contractors fail. This is a, a, an example here of some of the reasons that they fail. And w one of the things that I'm concerned with, it says, uh, the third paragraph down, the third little blurb down, it says, lack of adequate insurance. Okay. And then there's lack of life insurance. Mainly, mainly life insurance is when people die. Uh, corporations generally fail. And that doesn't matter if you're small or large. If you don't have uh, proper uh, life insurance so that you can go out and recruit good people to take over, uh, you're going to have some serious problems. Now, there's a lot of programs that are around that are being done throughout the country, but none here. Part of the reason is that uh, I think most people, most entities, I've talked to a, a lot of them, like Port of Seattle, King County, they've all attempted to do bonding programs, but one of the major problems is that with you guys, meaning small contractors, most of the people will not show up for the classes or what have you. So that's, you know, if you want to learn more about bonding, I think <clears throat> if you as a group were to go to uh, uh, the county or the state or almost anyone and say, look, we've got 20 or 30 people here and we want to know more about bonding. But it's not going to be, a, you know, if they tell you that they're going to do it in, in one or two classes for a couple hours, uh, you know that it's not going to be very good because it takes more than that.